Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion, and in this video we're going to be giving you an overview and showing you benchmarks for the Gigabyte Z77X UD4H motherboard. It is a standard ATX form factor motherboard with an LGA1155 socket supporting Intel 2nd and 3rd generation core processors, uh, Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge. What we'll show you in this video is all the details of the motherboard itself and then we'll get to some benchmarks. So let's take a closer look at the motherboard itself. So here we have a closer look at the Gigabyte Z77X UD4H motherboard. As I said, it is a standard ATX motherboard, and one thing you'll notice is it is in a flat black color on the PCB instead of the typical blue PCB color that Gigabyte usually uses. But first, let's take a look at the back panel here. And what we have is a PS2 connection, two USB 3.0 ports below that, VGA, uh, DVI, an HDMI connection, and a display port for your video and you have an optical SPI diff out here uh, for your external audio systems. You've got two USB 3.0 ports here as well as two eSATA 6 bits per second ports, an RJ45 connection for the onboard network, and two USB 3.0 ports below that. You've got six audio jacks here. The pink one is for the microphone. The other five can be used for a sound system up to 7.1 um, speakers. Next we have our PCI Express expansion slots. What we've got here is one uh, X1 slot as well as an X16 slot here. A X1 slot, or two X1 slots in between and another X16 length slot with X that supports X8 speeds. And you've got a old PCI port for backwards compatibility with some of uh, additional cards that you may have as well as a PCI Express X4 slot here. Um, also the full length it also is the full length uh, connector but it's only got pins for up to X4 speeds. On our connectors we've got our HD audio connector as well as system fin fan port uh, for pin PWM You've got a trusted platform module connector, USB 3.0 connector, or USB 2.0 connector, uh, and additional two USB 2.0 connectors, and another system fan here, your switch for your dual BIOS that this board supports, and your front panel, which you'll notice is actually color-coded, and that's a, definitely a nice feature to help you uh, plug in your cables properly the first time. You've got a little diagnostic panel here that will light up with codes as the system boots and another fan connector here on this edge along with eight SATA ports. This first set of SATA connectors is SATA 3. Um, it is provided by the Z77 Express chipset that is actually located under this uh, aluminum heatsink here and then you've got four SATA 2 ports here in between also provided by that chipset and the last two are also SATA 3 provided by an additional Marvell chipset and that's also what provides the controller for the two eSATA 6 gig on the back panel. On this edge we have an ATX power connector for you'll plug in a SATA power connector here to give the board extra power if you want to be doing overclocking and you've got your USB 3 connection header here and 24 pin power connector on the edge. Up on this top left corner we've got another 4 pin fan connector, a power switch, reset switch and CMOS switch and then an additional CPU fan header on the left edge here and our 8-pin um, CPU connector. 
under these two larger heat sinks is the digital eight phase power VRM. Um, these are used to keep that cool and the eight phases allow you to get a little bit more overclocking and of course you have your socket 1155 LGA 1155 here in the center. Our dim slots we've got four DDR3 dim slots with alternating colors so you can easily see um, where your memory's got to go. If you only have two chips you're going to populate the gray ones first dim one and dim two. The dim slots support DDR3 up to 1600 megahertz and you can put up to 32 gigs of memory in that slot. You'll also notice on the top left edge here we've got voltage out so you can check the voltages of your components if you plan on doing overclocking or if you're having some issues that you want to check. Um, you've also got the electrostatic discharge protection on the ICs. They've they're able to take a little bit more of a beating and you've also got a uh, glass fiberglass coating on the PCP. These are also part of the um, Gigabyte Ultra Durable 4 system. Um, power failure protection with the dual BIOS and high temperature protection with higher quality MOSFETs on the board. And how? And now for some benchmarks. Finally, we have the accessories that Gigabyte includes. First, we've got a installation guide addendum, and we have a multilingual installation guidebook, as well as the full user manual uh, from them. We've got the CD, which has the Gigabyte utilities, as well as drivers, the back plate with the color coded. Uh, um, ports here and they've actually got a little bit of um, metal um, tape on the back with foam underneath it to keep it um, from shorting out on the case. You've got an SLI bridge and you have four SATA cables that are included, two of which have an angled end on one and two that have straight ends. Some last thoughts are that um, this does support Virtue MVP and it features the Gigabyte 3D BIOS and as I mentioned earlier it does have a dual BIOS so you can set one BIOS to overclock mode and one BIOS to non-overclock mode or if you have a problem with, with one BIOS you can switch to the other one and still recover your system. I hope you guys all enjoyed the overview and benchmarks for the Gigabyte Z77X UD4H motherboard. For the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. Take care.